up on Tuesday in 2040, and I must say, y'all look great. Uh, <laughs> well, you have well. Age at all. <laughs> <I'll> stop. <laughs> so, how much of this apparent time travel and overlap are you able to clarify for us right off the bat? Well, you know, in this universe, anything can happen, and obviously, time travel does exist mm -hmm. in the Arrowverse. Mm -hmm. So. That's really all I can tell you, <laughs> which you already know. Yes. Time travel and fillers. <laughs> That's, That's the secret. That's the secret. <laughs> Hilarious. So it's a lot for fans right now coming right off of Crisis and now being introduced to this newly reset timeline, if you will. So Star City and Mia's life have taken an apparently different path as a result. Mm -hmm. How surprised is or isn't she to see you and does she know who you are? Uh, well, there is, I'm trying to not give away too much. I know, I'm like. <laughs> she is surprised, yes. Um, there are elements of our old lives that have uh, carried through, and then there are elements that have not, and that are new. So she's discovering, and we're discovering, um, but there is a familiarity. Uh, yes. Yeah, there's a connection to the past. Yeah. And we do see Laurel sort of, it looks like she's helping her out a little bit. You have kind of a special ring, and you grab her arm, and it looks like memories are coming to flood back. Yeah, um, I think that, you know, she, that's where I think what Jules was saying, like the connection is, like she starts to have these flashes of, of what actually what happened, um, which she, she didn't know. So it sort of wakes her up in a way. Yeah. So is this going to be a different Mia, is it a different Laurel, a different Dinah, or the same ladies we've grown to love? Um, the same ladies that we, you. I mean, I, I love our characters, so <laughs> that we love. Um, but I, you know, it's where we. What they've been through since, you know, the, since we'll see them yeah, in the finale, in the finale right. what they've been through to get there, and um, what v version, you know, right. like everything. It's similar to. Yeah. It's, it's also the characters that we know and love, but they're new. It's fresh, and it's one of my favorite things about this show is that it, it's it's got a, a vibe like Arrow, but it's definitely not Arrow. Um, so you see the character, but it's like seeing them in a new setting. It's like seeing your teacher outside of school. It's weird. Right, right. <laughs> it's, it's fun, like, yeah, especially it's fun. the dynamic between um, Dinah and Laura. Laurel. I yeah. love. It's it's. They're just sort of, I don't know, the it's, chemistry is really awesome. It's, yeah. it's really fun. Yeah, so Katie, speaking of Laurel, can you explain where we are with her right now? What version of Laurel is this? Is this some kind of Earth Prime hybrid Laurel? Because we don't really get to see what happened with her after Crisis. So, right, so basically, um, there's still story to be told in terms of, you know, Black Siren and Laurel from Earth 2. And in Black Siren, you know, redeeming herself and trying to find out you know what it is, what a true hero is what it's like to be a true hero um, but we don't know what happened we haven't seen her earth to laurel her backstory um, we know bits and pieces of it but we haven't really explored that world and so that is the version <laughs> i was we just made a joke earlier because I, I was like luckily i have a shrink because there's so many versions of, of the character yeah. but so to me it's yeah. it's earth to Laurel, but also has, you know, there's been a lot of time that's gone by and a lot of things and um, have happened and she's, she's spicy, she's fun. She's very, very fiery and spicy. <laughs> she looks like she's the one who's getting me on board. We see Mia put on the suit, so we know mm. that it's, that it happens, that she is ready to sort of take on the new Green, uh, green Arrow ma uh, mantle. Yeah, I think Laurel is, is definitely um, doing her best to try to convince her, like, because she needs, she needs the Green Arrow and, um, yeah, yeah, and it it just takes you know, Mia has to go through her own journey yeah. to get there. And what about Dinah? It's 2040, mm. but we don't see the gray hair, and she apparently sings and plays the piano now. So that's she's new. she's all sorts of zen. She's found her art, like yeah, and and I love that we've um, softened her in that way and sort of like uh, given her all these like rich layers, and we see that she um, is a musician, which is a. a Call back to the original comic, which is really cool. And I would say that uh, Dinah's in on the mission, but uh, Laurel is the one who's really like she's she's driving the driving the ship, the ship. Yeah. Yeah. rallying the troops, so to speak. Totally, yeah. She's the one who has the, um, and I also think maybe it is because she has a connection to Earth, Earth too, and and they're all you know, and and that time travel element. She she knows what's up, um, so she's sort of like delegating. So this is kind of a new multiverse or sort of a reset. Where exactly are we in the in a, in a timeline perspective? Well, 
The Arrowverse was technically Greece. destroyed. Yeah. There's no more Arrowverse. Um, it's one, we're all one, so we're on the same... Everything merged. Everything merged, yeah, which is great because it means anything is possible. Yeah. Uh, and it really... Clean slate. Clean slate, yeah. Love it. Mm -hmm. So as Mia prepares to take on her Green Arrow duties with your apparent encouragement, where does this leave us with other characters who could have real influence at 2040? Who's going to be joining forces with you Ooh. guys? Or maybe a potential foe? Well, I think, you know, definitely you'll see some of the, you know, the younger mm -hmm. um, the kids. Yeah. Crew. yeah, William, for example. Mm -hmm. William, for example, yeah, yep, he's mm -hmm. one of them. Mm -hmm. um, and he's a crucial, you know, I, I think that that character is crucial because he also roots Mia to her, like her, her legacy and her family and her bloodline. So, um, and also Ben is just so good. Such a dog, oh, yeah. God, he's he's so, such a great actor. He is, and the sweetest person, so we're really lucky to have him. Um, yeah, and those, those I call them kids because, I mean, they're not that much younger than us, but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but those kids are going to be part of it. Love it. And we've said, sadly, our official goodbye to Oliver, but we've heard Steven will be back for the season finale, or the series finale, right. I should say. So how are we going to loop that back in? Well, I can't tell you. You're going to have to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> watching, of course. Is it I mean, in it, it a specter type of way because he has sort of a new form? Interesting. Hmm. That's um, an interesting idea. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, they were very, the way that they made that work was very creative and it was done very tastefully uh, and in a way that honors him being gone but puts his presence in there in a way that just like roots the, the finale. And the legacy. And the, the legacy. And the show, the show. really. Yeah, yeah. The, overall. Yeah. 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 Well, this episode coming up is essentially a, a pilot for a potential spinoff that we're hoping for, and we're laying a groundwork. So how much will the episode connect to and reference everything that just went down in crisis and wrapping up Arrow versus establishing its own space? Mm. The, the really great thing about Green Arrow and the Canaries um, 809 is when I read the script, it was, it was so fresh, and I did look at it from a perspective like, okay, do you have to watch Arrow in order to watch Green Arrow and the Canaries? And the answer is no, you don't. You don't have to have known anything about what happened on Arrow, but because you will be filled in, you know, in the series tell, by yeah. telling the story. And um, you can just, you know, be a new eyes or watcher to, to it. And it, it just yeah. feels fresh and, and it lives in the same world as Arrow, but it has- Spirit is there. Right. Completely, yeah. completely. Right. But it, it's fun. I mean, it's like yeah. there's a there's a again like our relationship, our chemistry. There's like a lightness, is like a there's like a snarkiness in yes. a way. But like, and yeah. it's it's cool to see all these ladies and women, you know, team up and come together, and and especially now. That in, yes, and that in and it's of the itself. Time for that. It's, oh it yeah, is. we need it. We need just that group of women, and I think that in in and of itself changes the energy of the show. Um, in the, I mean, you wouldn't necessarily think like. I don't know, it, it makes it, it just elevates it. It makes it really cool and it somehow makes us stronger, I think, yeah. as our characters. Yeah. To just be, we just, we don't need any men. <laughs> don't need them. <laughs> don't need them. They're, we like them. Yeah. Don't need them. <laughs> well, some fans are picking up Birds of Prey vibes with you three. Cool. I think that's kind of a fun comparison. Yeah, yeah uh, absolutely. With Ezra Miller's cameo in Crisis, mm. could we see more DC characters, and film actors come aboard and make appearances? I truly hope so. I, absolutely, yeah. I mean, I think that's what's so awesome about it. Do you think Margot Robbie would come on our show? I was going to say that. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, she's invited. <laughs> yeah, really obviously. Cool <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, y you know, obviously, I think it's awesome. And everybody in the DC world, whether it be film or television, they're all welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are sending you an invite. Yes, please come. We <laughs> need you. We come play with us. Come play with us. Anytime, anytime. So we've also seen a photo of Green Arrow and the Canaries with a new character in episode nine, Bianca, Bianca Bertinelli, whose last name should catch fans' attention. Does that mean there's a potential new Huntress on the horizon, or how does she Ooh. work into the mix? Well, I don't know. Mm. We, we actually have don't to know. Watch. We actually don't know that. I do. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah, but I'll, I'll tell you tell later. Me after. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get the tea, and we'll have to oh. wait. <laughs> See, this is good. We need. I need eyes and ears everywhere. Well, you're hoping for that, I assume. I am so hoping for that. I think that would be amazing, and. Um, uh, yeah, she, she's a great character. She was great to work with, so it would be really a good addition to our dynamic. I yeah, think, she was really team. fun. Yeah. What can you guys tell us about plans to continue beyond episode nine as far as the spinoff? Any news on how that's developing? 
I am. Um, I mean, we've, we, there's been some buzz about it. I think, you know, we all really are, love working together. We work together really well. It's a great show. I mean, it's a great, it's a new story to tell, you know, mm -hmm. and I think it's really cool, again, that it's like three female women. Yeah. Um, and, and empowering other women, hopefully, in some point later yeah. down the road, you know, bringing more, I don't know if it's canaries or what it may be, but I just think, again, now is the time and, I've heard of it. I mean, I've seen it. It's really good. It's, it's awesome. Really, I saw it too. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. awesome. So um, I'm excited for everybody else, everybody else to see it, and hopefully, yeah, we get we get picked up and yeah. go. I think yeah. it's an important show to have right now, and um, I just think it would be good for women. I think it would be good for men uh, to see women in this position. Um, so yeah, we feel really good about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and how's it working with Kat in this new space now? She's great. Yeah, she's a really good actor. Yeah, um, she's awesome. I mean, yeah. all all of us get along. That's what's also really great about. Yeah, thank God. You know, already a family. Casting yeah. exactly. Yeah. We know these people, and and everybody's yeah, yeah it's just been wonderful. Yeah, Kat's cool. amazing. One last uh, fan nugget. There's a quick shot of a Deathstroke mask in the promo. Will mm -hmm. we see who's under there right away, or is that going to be teased? Could it be it's, JJ? I don't know. Uh, I mean, you'll whatever it is you think, it's, it's not, not gonna be that. <laughs> yeah. Surprises await. Oh, yes. yes. Many. A lot of surprises. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything you guys want to tell fans directly about what to look forward to in episode nine? Yes, they should look. Fans, you guys, <laughs> look forward to badass women and a lot of action kicking ass. It's amazing. Yeah, baby. Yeah.